Hi, welcome to Channel Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general weekly reading for um, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. So please only take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Keep in mind, everything is subject to free will, your free will, and anyone or anything that you are energetically connected to is free will, as well as the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect. Let's see. This will be for the first week of October. We got Tenacity, Stag, Beetle. You're holding on to something really tightly. Retreat. They want you to pull back from it. Crab. Possibly from a cancer or an earth, an earth sign. Cunning. Retreat from cunning community. So either people think that you're very cunning or you think this about others. Yeah, it's like a group of people or a group of friends here that think that you're very cunning. Maybe even conniving. Now, I'm not saying you are or not. Or there's somebody that you know, possibly a fire sign or a water sign or even a um, earth sign that you feel like it's conniving. Okay. So, you need to pull back some of that intensity here. Retreat from that. Okay. You Or you might, you might feel like someone's being, someone in your community, whether there's friends, family, love interests, friend group, work relationship, whatever. You might feel like they're being conniving towards you some way, somehow. Let's see. What is tenacity here for spirit? Black cat. Fortune meets opportunity. So you might be going after something really ferociously, and they want you to pull, and that might make people fall back from you. Why is retreat here? The lamp, remembrance. You're trying to retreat from remembering something or someone here. Why is cunning here? Winter, the sacredness of passing, or excuse me, the sacredness of pausing. So maybe you need to pause doing something. Um, if not, you risk losing a community. Cauldron, synergy and healing. You need a healing community. Maybe you're trying to work one up. There's something coming to light for you, though, about this that you need to see. Okay. So, we're going to get one card for each of these. Let's see. Why is the stag beetle here? Why is tenacity here for my Geminis? Nine of swords. You have a lot of anxiety about taking action on something. Why is retreat here? You want to leave a situation. You have anxiety about leaving or moving on. Why is cunning here? From something from the past or somebody that you've known for a long time or from childhood here. Retreating. Or you're very, you're, you feel like somebody from your past is very cunning towards you. Someone, a child, a childhood friend or sibling possibly. Show me community. The hive, the home. Three of cups. You do want to come together in your community though. Do you want there to be a celebration? You do have a two of cups here at the bottom of the deck. Possibly even a wedding might be involved somehow. Let's see, what is this black cat about? Fortune meets opportunity. Basically, this is like fate. Good luck. Remembering your la your fortune and your luck. We're trying to remember opportunities that you've had. Show me the black cat, please. You have the queen of wands here. Very attractiveness, maybe even magic here. There's also a black cat in this one. Maybe there's an opportunity with someone with red hair or a very fiery woman or man. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. We also have Gemini, which is you. That's your card. You also have Aquarius. You have Scorpio. You have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Why is the why remembrance here? Four of Knives. You want to retreat from remembering something. A lot of retreat energy. Show me the winter. Daughter of skulls. So like the page of skulls here. The sacredness of, of pausing. You don't. You want to offer news of something. Or you want to offer maybe a pause here. Or you feel very sad. Something maybe passed. Show me cauldron here. Synergy and healing. The lord of scepters here. So this could even be like the king of wands here. Or the knight. You want to rush in very impulsively to bring healing to something, but you can't. 
there's like a finality here. You may feel very heartbroken about something. Maybe you wish that you could rush in and say sorry. Show me the Knight of Swords, please. Why is this here? Knight of Swords. Yeah, you want to rush in and fight for something. Show me the Knight of or Six of Swords, please. The Fool. You feel like there might be an Aries that's slipping away from you or a new beginning that you're escaping from or you're escaping to a new beginning. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Seven of Swords. You feel like something was a lie. You feel like someone lied to you about in the past or about children or someone lied to you as a, as a child. Show me the Three of Cups, please. Ten of Cups. You might have been lying about family. Yeah, the coming, the sweetness of family, coming together, family, marriage, possibly even. Show me the Queen of Wands, please. Yeah, this is someone from your past. Okay, with Six of Cups here, you're thinking fondly of this person from your past, but you also feel like they lied to you. Show me the Four of Knives. You're trying to retreat from remembrance here. You're trying to, yeah, from from a father figure, an emperor here, or a spouse, a husband, a father figure. This could even be you, the king of swords. But you're trying to escape from the truth here. You're trying to rise. You're trying to pull back or retreat from remembering the truth or remembering a father figure or remembering your strength, possibly. What is this daughter of skulls? What is this offering about? What is this news, daughter of skulls? About the Queen of Wands again. The sacredness of pausing. So you feel like there's a pause in coming together with a Queen of Wands here, or there's two separate Queen of Wands energy. Show me the Lord of Scepters, please. It's fast. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You feel like you want to rush in and offer some type of uh, love or condition or healing or happiness or an apology, but. With synergy and healing, I feel like you can only heal now. Okay. Something about the past. Okay. Alright, let me see if there's any other messages that come through. One second. You can't retreat from remembering something or someone or what happened in the past. Can't escape it. It has to be reviewed and looked at now. It's time. So what I just heard from spirit. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Anything else, please? You feel left out. You feel forgotten or left out by a situation, possibly. By someone's. Show me um, anything. Last messages, please, for Gemini. Hi, Priestess. You're holding back secrets here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, about a decision or a choice or a pathway here that you might want to take impulsively with the uh, or communicate very impulsively here. You have the Three of Wands. You're waiting for something, some type of news. There's, it's a time frame here. You're waiting on time or news here to make a decision, but you're, you feel like you're blocked from it. You feel like this path is blocked from you. You have two choices here. You know about it. I don't feel like anyone else does, though. You know that it's something you're waiting on this path to clear up for you. I don't know what that means. You'll, you'll understand what it means for you, though. All right, let's see what other signs you could be dealing with or elements. What other signs or elements could Gemini be dealing with this week, please? Sun, moon, rising, please, spirit. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Gemini, this could be yourself or someone else, okay? We'll read it both ways. Anyone else that Gemini could be dealing with this week? Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. Bottom of the deck, we have a Leo. Take it. Looks like you're at the center of this, Gemini. Whatever it is, is all around you. Let's see. So if you're dealing with a Virgo, sun, moon, rising, what are their intentions towards you? Oops. Hold 
long. This deck sit. Sorry. Let me change decks real quick. There's something that's all around you right now, and I feel like you don't feel like you can retreat from the truth. That you did something very cunning, and it's going to be found out this week. Something you've done is about to come to light. Something you've done in the past is about to come to light this week for some reason. It's all around you. Hmm. So if you're dealing with a Virgo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, what are their intentions towards you? With the Five of Pentacles here, they want to leave you out in the cold here. They don't want anything to do with you, possibly. Yeah. Because they feel like you lied to them with the Seven of Swords. Okay. If you're dealing with... Um, I'll get to this one last. If you're dealing with a Leo, what are their intentions towards you? They want to communicate with you. They want to find... There's some type of news that they're hearing about you or about a situation. They're not going to like it, though. The Magician, they feel like you manipulated the situation. That's Virgo Gemini energy. Yeah. With the Five of Swords, yeah. You, you play mind games with them. You started a fight or conflict with them, or they feel like they want to fight with you about something because there's some form of mind game here. <clears throat> if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, what are their intentions towards you? Well, they're going to watch over you. They're watching what you're doing. They're watching you um, betray yourself or the betrayal that you've already done. About balancing something out. You need to balance out some type of betrayal here. It's coming to light this week. I feel like this is something that you've been dreading coming out. But they're watching, uh, they're watching you with the Page of Swords here. <clears throat> they're watching over you. And they're watching you. They're watching the betrayal, the unevenness. So if you're dealing with, if you're dealing with another Gemini, if you're dealing with another Gemini, what are their intentions towards you? Well, they see you as the Empress and they really want to um, be committed towards you. They love you. But, and they want to make an, they want to offer you something. Okay, if you're dealing with, so let's see, let's look at your energy. Spirit, can you please show me just, let me get a different deck. I said get a different deck, okay. Can you please show me just Gemini's energy, please? This was a Gemini that you might have been dealing with, okay. Um, someone wants to offer you commitment um, if you're dealing with another Gemini. Um, if this is just you, let's see. Show me Gemini's intention towards a cross watcher. Well, they want to offer abundance and a ten of cups here, a family. Strength and reverse that, that they come out like that, but they feel like they lack the courage to do so, or you, uh, Gemini feels like they lack the courage here, or they don't want to lose a Leo as their family because something's going to be coming out this week. Someone also wasn't able to fight off temptation of regarding fulfillment of a family. I don't know. Yeah, overindulging here, not a cups, in something guarding family with an empress okay so there's something you've done that there was a death here as well or an ending someone overindulged or overdid something and now it's ending because of the past something's about coming to an end because of the past with children because there was a game or someone put on a show here with the seven of cups and created some form of confusion because they had a lot of options they did it intentionally to create confusion intentionally or you did or you know this is what you did so cross watcher gemini is created confusion intentionally now judgment is here for the mind games that were played the deception that was done the offers the news is coming in about money and that was the deceptions about money about what was actually done hmm you got five of swords here twice you got three fives five 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 I have some major changes here. Whew, okay. That's a lot. Let's see. But it's coming out. Whatever it is, it's coming out. It's regarding family or family money that was owed to someone, but it, it didn't get it didn't go that way. Someone took it for themselves instead, or 
There's some type of scandal that's about to be revealed. It's, if it's regarding a Sagittarius, or if it, excuse me, if it's regarding a Leo, it's gonna piss somebody off. Okay, let's see. Let me get you some guidance. Um, let's not this one. This one. All right. Any guidance, please, for my Gemini's? Guidance reading, please. They want you to declutter your your space, please. Any guidance, please, for my Gemini's for guidance reading? Jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. I also feel like maybe you are the one who's jealous. Or you were at the time. Sunshine. Could it be jealous of a Leo? The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. You're jealous of someone's abundance and happiness yep you're jealous of someone's good fortune <sighs> okay let's see i'm gonna have to read these you, you do these in uh you can do them uh upright and reverse okay what guidance do you have please for my gemini's regarding this reading graveyard there is a song that bellows in the peace of knowing no end and acknowledging the crossroads of eternity Okay, anything else for more Gemini's? Pumpkin. Uncaging the spirit within thou, the fertile power you hold. To taste your buttery velvet upon tongue is a gift I shall cherish each day that comes. Okay, that's interesting. Let's read it. Let me see. Number 18. One second. <clears throat> okay we'll start with the graveyard one keyword says peace peace and acknowledgement many see a graveyard as a symbol of mortality it collects the tears of mourners whose loved ones have laid laid to rest who have been laid to rest. Its stillness is an ominous song that creeps up the spine, leaving us to ponder who death will come for next. But a graveyard is a place of serenity where souls can find peace and stillness beyond the harsh realities of living. There is no longer the need to struggle against what is. It is a place of surrender. There are those who fear the graveyard for it has long been the home of wandering spirits who cannot find peace. Those who have not transitioned to eternity forced to live a half-life, neither dead nor alive. Souls who are faced with taking responsibility for a life not lived to the full, focused on things that didn't matter, and holding on to resentment. The graveyard card will help you find peace with where you are. There are times when we will be faced with difficult situations that are beyond our control. Those are the times that we must surrender to our current place. There's no use in fighting a battle you've, you've already lost. Take control over the one thing that you can change yourself. The situation you're inquiring about is no longer in your hands. The powers that have been taken over, the powers that be have taken over. Often we are faced with a challenging ending that is necessary to facilitate a bright new beginning. Maybe you're jealous because someone didn't, you, 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 there's something about that. I'm not sh quite sure why the jealousy came through, but there you go. Be mindful of being jealous of people who've already passed. Okay? Remember, they would want you to move on and live your best life to the best of your ability, okay? And I'm really sorry. My deepest condolences for your loss, okay? So, pumpkin. Protection, fertility, and prosperity. Pumpkins have been a tradition for, for shaman. Uh, sh yeah. For hundreds and hundreds of years, jack-o'-lanterns were carved to scare away the ghosts and goblins that were said to roam the streets on, I'm not saying it right, Samhain, Samhain, Sam, Samway, I'm not saying it right. Carving jack-o'-lanterns originally began with a variety of root vegetables from turnips to potatoes. Pumpkins became the preferred method for the abundance of space for carving. And there, <coughs> there is always plenty left over to fashion into dinner and desserts, even drinks. 
The pumpkin is more than a scare tool for the witch, however. It is a symbol of protection, fertility, and abundance. The pumpkin represents the power of the womb, so it is no surprise that its color corresponds with the color of the, sac the, the sacral, sacral chakra, and its size is the symbol of prosperity and having enough to go around. Sorry. You have pulled pumpkin today because you are protected and safe from harm. There is a presence around you keeping the scary things away from your front door. You can rest easy knowing that your back is guarded. This card can also mean taking steps, taking some steps to keep negative people out of your life. You may need to reduce the amount of time you spend in some relationships or set some firm boundaries. Doing so will allow you to put your energy where it where it is needed most. Beautiful. I have no idea. I think I'm going to say, call this ring, you need to go carve you a pumpkin. Go carve you a jack-o'-lantern, okay? I'm not sure where the jealousy stuff comes from, but there is a truth that is coming out. The truth in a carved pumpkin. Okay? Now, if you want to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, take care of yourself until next time. Bye.